In a long negotiated deal over the development of an airtropolis near DIA, the city of Denver has agreed to pay Adams County $10 million up front to begin construction on 1,500 acres of land. Tax revenues from the area will be split evenly between Denver and Adams County, and DIA will retain the revenue from land leases. Penny, this was another one that a couple years ago was on the brink of disaster with the two Adams County threatening to sue Denver because of the violation of the 19, uh, I guess, 98 agreement about 88. how, uh, 88 agreement, yes, 88 agreement about how DIA and the land was set up. Um, was the final result in negotiation surprising? Surprising that it may be, maybe surprising in that it was so successful. I think they came up with a fairly good solution. There's so many lessons here for us. One is remembering what it was like in 1988, even just to get this agreement through. You remember Governor Roy Romer went around eating oatmeal to convince Adams County and the other counties that this was a good idea. They didn't want Denver to annex land. We had to take it to a vote. That, 1990, that 1988 agreement was very, very carefully parsed out. So the first thing Hick Hancock should have done when he decided he wanted to push his Aerotropolis was maybe go back and reread that document <laughs> and realize just how carefully written that document was, how many lawyers had signed off on it, and so that's the outcry was. It was a pretty ironclad document. Adams County and Aurora have obviously gained a lot of power, a lot of financial power, a lot of clout since 1988. Those are growing areas. And they fought back, and that's why Denver had to spend a lot of time to work out an agreement that will ultimately work out for everyone, assuming we all vote for it and Romer's still around to eat oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, David, Patty alludes to the part that while the cities have agreed to this uh, in, uh, in form, the, the voters in Adams County and in Denver have to officially approve this November 3rd. Do you think there's any problem with it being uh, passed by voters in this fall? Sure. I, th I think... Uh Denver and Adams County governments worked out a, a fair arrangement between themselves. As Patty said, the, the mayor Hancock got off to a bad start by unilaterally announcing things that were very contrary to the agreement, but he, they ultimately negotiated something that, that, that's fine for Denver and Adams in revenue sharing. But what, how much are the taxpayers going to be on the hook? How much rather than just opening up land that's in some ways desirable because it's near a big airport uh, for development, how much are the developers going to be subsidized by the taxpayers? Why should a person in, in Denver or Adams County have to pay money to somebody who's building a business out there? So how much corporate welfare is going to be in it? We, we know it's going to be fair of Denver from county to county. We don't know whether it's going to be fair to the taxpayers yet. And the, the split between uh the revenue, not the revenues, but uh, the, the tax taxes going to Adams County and Denver seemed pretty fair. That part of the negotiation seemed uh, a natural result. The $10 million up front almost seemed like a fee that Denver's having to pay because they stepped in it the wrong way. I don't know. I, I wasn't in there. It's just a personal opinion. As you look at what we've seen so far in the negotiations, what do you think? I was a little surprised at that one, too. Um, but I don't know that... Hancock approaching it the way he did brings about that fee. I, I think maybe that's something they demand uh, anyway. I mean, you know, Adams County seems to be the poster child of, you know, Denver has had so much success since the recession, but not all of us are doing well. Um, and, and this almost seemed to be kind of Denver's contribution to help out their economy. Either way, though, it's going to be worth it. This is, and, and, and when uh, there was an, a major airport conference that was here in November, and people from other areas talked about this, especially the Dallas-Fort Worth area. This is going to be a major contributor to the economy if they can pull this off, right? We're talking tens of millions of dollars in tax revenue, not, you know, just going to governments, regardless all the money that's going to be going through the private economy that comes in. Um, so I, I think at some point, if Hancock realized I got stuff on a bad foot, he was probably going to be willing to pay any price to continue this going, especially since it really looks at this point like the airport is going to be his legacy. I know he's only five years in, but this is where he's doing the most good, making the most uh, uh, change in his uh, a as a mayor. And so I think uh, I think 10 million in the end might be seen as a low price. Ben, uh, Mayor Hancock walked in uh, for his first term and quickly put the Eurotropolis as his goal and a big part of what he thought would be his legacy and ran right into a wall when it comes to this agreement. Now that it seemingly has opened up again uh, upon approval from the voters, mm -hmm. do you think this will seal a, uh, a major benefit for his legacy? 
I think there's no question, and as Ed alluded to, there's huge opportunity at the airport. Even though it's 20 years old, it's still the newest airport in the United States. And one of the things that is sort of granular but is important to note is that there's huge opportunity for runway expansion still at the airport, and that the plan that they've developed around this is, first of all, it's important to note that this is airport city and not Aerotropolis. We're talking about the 53 square miles that's the airport footprint itself. And the plan that they've developed is about attracting businesses that wouldn't be here that need instant delivery capability. So this is a huge deal for the city of Denver and for the entire region. So there's no question, as Ed said, we're going to recapture all that money. The $10 million may seem like a big ticket up front, but at the end of the day, it's going to be a drop in the bucket compared to what we see coming back. And I do think it will do a lot for the mayor's legacy and, frankly, a lot for the city. Um, um, especially when you look at what's happening at Union Station, there's going to be four light rail stops on the airport, airport footprint, which is incredibly important. And that's where the nodes of development are going to be. And that's what the plan calls for, is for the development to be around the transit nodes. So I think it's going to be a huge opportunity. I think we're going to see massive economic development. And I think it's a great idea to really open up the engine that is the airport.